guys. Hold on, I'm going to eat him real quick. Hi guys, it's Paula. And here's Travis. He's just having a little bottle. And this is my two week update on him. He is two weeks old. So yeah. I do my videos really late. So he's actually like, tomorrow he'll be three weeks. But I'm so busy during the week. And I was too busy to make this video yesterday. Um, so, yeah. I'm probably going to be uploading these videos when he's like about to turn the next week. Um, but that also helps me with how blah, 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 with how he's doing. So you can expect his weekly update videos to be on like a Saturday or Sunday. Like today's a Sunday, so his video is up on a Sunday. Um, but he's two weeks old. Yeah, two weeks. His umbilical cord fell out Monday. So after he did, actually he had just turned two weeks old, and his umbilical cord finally fell out and I'm so happy because he finally got his tummy time. So we put him on his tummy and I actually have a video of that on my keek if you want to see it. It's just a little 30 second video of him trying to, I guess he was roll, trying to roll over really bad but he couldn't so he just kind of got frustrated and started to cry towards the end because he was just getting frustrated. Um, he is moving his head so much like we have to, whenever I burp him, I change the position from over the shoulder to where he's sitting up and I'm holding his chin, his jaw, and burping him that way. Because he moves his head so much that it's become very difficult. His eye color is like so like unknown. It's really dark. It's like, it looks like a really dark blue. Um, but it could turn brown. So we don't know, and we probably won't know until he's like two years old. Because we were told that their eye color doesn't stop changing until about two years old. Which is kind of sad, because I like his eye color the way they are. It's like they're brown on the inside and blue on the outside. Um, it's really hard to tell though. And it doesn't help that my husband is colorblind because he will tell me a completely different color. It's really hard to mess with my hair when I'm holding a baby. Oh, well, I don't care. It's close enough. <laughs> okay, we went to the doctor. He is 7.8 pounds, so he gained one pound and one ounce within a week, which is really cool because I'm glad he's growing, and I was kind of afraid that he wasn't getting enough to eat, but he's getting plenty because he grew a whole pound and one ounce, and I'm so happy. Um, he is still 19 and a half inches long. Um, that's what the doctor said. In my last video I said he was 19 and three quarter inches because that's what my husband kept telling me, but it turns out he was, I was right. Which goes to show you girls, don't listen to your husbands because they're probably wrong. He is only, he is only 19 and a half inches long. He's not 19 and three quarters inches. Um, his head is 14 inches in circumference. So he gained about a quarter inch of roundness. So I guess his skull is getting, coming back together nicely, I guess. So he's not so pinheaded. Um, he wasn't very pinheaded when he came out anyway. Um, because he wasn't in the birth canal for very long. So he just, um, he really likes to kick off his socks. If you notice, he's not wearing socks, but he's wearing mittens. Um, because he just kicks them off. And we have not found socks that are small enough for his tiny little feet because he took after me on his feet, so um, he likes to kick those off. He wears his mittens like 24-7 because he loves to grab his face and um, a few days ago he actually put his pinky inside of his eye and freaked me out. I thought he was going to pull his eye out, but he didn't. He didn't even cry. It was like he didn't even notice he did it. And I was so scared, so I made sure that these mittens stayed on him all the time. And we finally found a pair that fit him, because all the other pair would just get too big, and he would stretch them out, and he they would end, he would end up taking them off, or they would fall off, or he would put them in his mouth and pull them off. He just does not really like them, but I do not want him poking his eye out. The day before yesterday, that night, um. 
he had been cranky all day and me and my husband were wondering why he was so cranky. We thought maybe he was catching a cold because he had a little bit of a stuffy nose. We started to take his temperature and it turned out he had a 98.7 degree temperature which we took under the arm and they told us to add two degrees to that because it was not very accurate or it's not as accurate as in the bottom and so that, mean, that meant he had a 100.7 degree temperature and she said to wait 45 minutes to take his temperature again <coughs> and make sure the house wasn't too hot <coughs> the house was at 73 degrees. It's currently at 79 because I haven't turned the AC on and I'm about to. But it's not really, doesn't feel very um, hot in here, I mean. And he's not wearing very much clothing anyway, so he's not overheating at all. So we kept the temperature at 73. We, took, we stripped him down to his diaper and just waited 45 minutes. We fed him. We tried to comfort him because he was just crying because we didn't really know what was wrong. And... So after that happened, we took his temperature again. It went down to 100.5 if you added the two degrees. And so we were still kind of worried because that's pretty high for a baby, but we, the papers the hospital gave us said that it's normal, that their temperature can go up to 100 degrees and it's fine. But a lot of people tell us it's not okay, so we just called our hospital. And they told us to take it from his bottom, which was really, hard because I do not want to take my son's temperature from his bottom and I because I would feel I feel so bad for him because I would not want a th thermometer shoved up my butt either but it actually had the really opposite effect he was crying pretty bad we put him on the changing table and we went to take his temperature and he was actually really good about it he's really good with stuff like that we, I don't know he's just really good a 99 degree temperature um, so it kept going down so we decided to you know just keep him with just a diaper on and um, in between his legs he has like the skin started to peel off which freaked me out because he kicks a lot and so I guess the diaper rubbed up against him in the wrong way and it caused his skin to peel so um, if you have any helpful tips it's not a diaper rash it's just his skin peeling um, we have put baby powder to dry it out because that's what my mom told me to do because we don't currently have cor cornstarch. We are going to get some soon. Um, I've put Vaseline on it to make sure it's not too dry to make it like burn him. So if you have any tips, it's not a rash. It is his skin peeling. Like it's the second layer of his skin it is exposed in between his legs on both sides. So that's my update with him, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please feel free to subscribe in the box, or the subscribe button is now below me, because stupid YouTube updated again. Freaking YouTube. Okay, so feel free to subscribe, and also go like my fan page on Facebook if you want to keep up to date with Travis and see pictures and all that. You can also follow me on Instagram. Um, I have a ton of pictures on there. Follow me on Keek as well if you want to see any short videos of him. I also have an, a form screen. I almost said Instagram again. A form, a form screen. And all of my Instagram form screen, form screen, form screen, um, Facebook, Keek, all of that is under my same name. Follow up Polka Dot. Me, Travis, love you guys. So. If you're having a bad day, don't have a bad day. Tell that day, screw you, and go have a freaking awesome day. I hope you guys will keep following me and Travis's journey. You want any more milk? You want some milk? No milk? Milk? No? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? We love you guys, and we hope you have a good day. Little you know, Travis is having a little fussy fit over here. Travis, say bye everybody. Say bye bye to everybody. Bye bye YouTube. Okay, I hope you guys have a good day. And feel free to subscribe. And we love you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Shesh the baby. Oh, sweet, you did it. Mm.
kejam.